First at five, 20 years ago tomorrow, the 9-11 attacks on the Pentagon and the World Trade Center shocking the country. It was the largest terrorist attack on American soil and a pivoted, pivotal moment in our nation's history. It was also unprecedented for the men and women who ran towards the danger and destruction trying to help. Garrett Berger talked to two of those people today, San Antonio firefighters who responded to New York City with the Texas A&M Task Force One and talk about their experience at Ground Zero. Okay. I don't know what what's going on. Everyone remembers where they were on 9-11. For those who saw Ground Zero themselves, those memories are clear too. I remember just about every night I was up there. Six San Antonio firefighters and an IT member deployed to Ground Zero as part of the Texas A&M Task Force One. The scene they found, incurring horror from the first sight. And as soon as we crested that bridge, you saw a bunch of lights and a ton of smoke, and it just got dead silent on that bus. Never seen anything like that. From September 19th to 27th, the task force members helped to clear rubble and recover remains. So we were working, you know, six foot long torches, cutting steel. We were moving buckets, whatever needed done, we would do. Working in 12 hour shifts around the clock, doing what they could to bring closure to so many grieving families. We're in buses and we're going back and forth to Jacob Javits Convention Center. It's just lined with people in pictures. Help me find my loved one. Meyer says he and other members of the task force brought back pieces of rubble from ground zero but it's not the heaviest things that they carry with them from that time. It's the emotional toll of the experience that truly weighs on them. You know, if I don't think about it, I'm fine. But if I start thinking about it, it starts to get to me. But it's part of them now, and no one will ever need to urge them to remember. Tomorrow morning, I am out of town, but I'm going to be, there's a nearby fire station, and they have a flagpole, and I'm going to be there. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.